Hi and welcome to my channel. So this is breaking news because the UK government has today officially announced the date that the newly announced immigration changes are going to be effective from. So this is a very, very important date. If you are in the UK, you are going to be affected by these changes. And when I say affected, these are massive changes with huge impact for many families in this country that are immigrants on visa sponsorship or still waiting to apply for visa sponsorship if you're still out of the uk these are also going to affect you massively whether you're an individual you've got a family or not it is what it is so you're welcome obviously if you are a returning subscriber subscriber as usual i appreciate your time and look the uk is a country that understands the law of demand and supply if you look at how this country behaves it should teach all of us immigrants to know that we need to value ourselves when we come to this country look i feel very heartbroken when i see people that are very motivated to come to this country they do everything to get to the uk but once they get to this country they're very deflated they just settle for very little settle for less settle for very mediocre jobs and pay it's very very annoying to me the reason why i'm saying this is because the government constantly is increasing fees to such ridiculous amounts of money and so that's what we're going to be talking about today and if there's one thing i want you to take from this video which i am annoyed as well as very passionate about this is the fact that if you are in the uk as an immigrant you must never settle for less you deserve a lot because when you look at the pains that we take i think because of this law that the government has just announced i have people in my coaching program that are currently waiting for their certificate of sponsorship to come through and if it comes after that date i have one of the carers it, look it is just crazy and the disruption that this has brought i'm actually quite you know what i mean it's going to be costing families about £20,000 just to get a UK visa. How on earth do you save £20,000 as part of visa fees? I mean, this is not even the actual visa fees. This is just extra fees that the government has implemented. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button now so that you're the first person to be notified every single day when I drop a new video on here. And this is regarding the healthcare surcharge. So the healthcare surcharge is a fee that the government introduced so that migrants can pay those fees in order to boost the economy and to have more money within the economy, basically. And so... If you're not aware, by the way, I do have a free newsletter. I've dropped the link in the comment section below. It's completely free to join. You drop your name and email and I send information such as this directly to your inbox. I also share information about free visa sponsorship opportunities to move to the UK or switch your visa if you're already in this amazing country. And let me tell you something. There's never been a better time. It's never been more important to be so knowledgeable about the jobs that are in the UK because it is becoming very, very expensive and people who are not wealthy will not be able to get some of these UK jobs. And so you need to be very strategic. And so I'm going to be telling you in today's video which jobs are exempted from these fees so that if you really want to be able to move to this country, even when you get a job, you must gravitate, you must apply for those jobs that are exempted from this fee because it is so expensive that many people won't be able to afford. That is the reality of it. And so when you join my newsletter, I send that info directly to you, career progression opportunities. I mean, it's not about coming to the UK. It's what you do with yourself when you get to this country after paying all this money. You need to take advantage of the opportunities that this country has to offer. Otherwise, hmm, it is not worth it for many of us. I seen it will not be worth it for many of us because you must take those opportunities. Apprenticeships, for example, where you can get paid to work and study at the same time so that you're not paying tuition fees. People are coming to the UK. And then they are going again to pay tuition fees, £20,000 per year in order to study. You need to apply for apprenticeships so that you are paid and your employer is actually paying your tuition fees. I in, you, you need to find a way of recuperating these visa fees because they are not sustainable for many families. I really do empathize with all those colleagues, you know, people in my program and all of that because... It's very, very annoying, actually. So if you need to contact me, actually, check the comment section below. You're going to find my contact details on there. There's my WhatsApp number. There's my email address. And then 
we take it from there. So the healthcare surcharge has been increased by 66% from £624 to a whopping £1,035 per person per year. What this means is that if you are an immigrant and you don't apply for a job that is exempted because not all jobs have to pay this, you need to apply for jobs that are exempted. And by the way, leave a comment in the comment section below. Are you applying for these recently? What do you think about these changes? You know, how are they going to affect you as a person? Are you like, you know, what is really going on? Because the UK knows that there are millions of people that want to come to this country. And even though, you know, we are needed as immigrants, as migrants, it's a matter of saying, look, we know that no matter the fees, people will still come to this country. So we can as well keep increasing the fees so that not only do you come here, but you're paying thousands as well to get here. It is what it is. And that's why personally, I do not apologize when it comes to my career progression. I do not leave any stones unturned when it comes to going for the best opportunities in this country. Because if you put in all of this effort to get here and then you get here and you're earning peanuts, you're earning £20,000 per year for the rest of your life after spending more money to get here than you may ever be able to make. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. It does not make any sense. So if you're in the UK right now or you're out of the UK, you need to be applying for those high paying jobs. You need to be looking for career progression, apprenticeships, NHS jobs, you know, so that not only are you exempted from the healthcare surcharge, but you're progressing so that the money that you've paid, the effort that you've put in, the sacrifices that you've made to get to this country should be worthwhile. Otherwise, a time is coming where many people will not be able to make the money that they have spent to get to this country. And it's even worse for those people who are paying 20000 for a visa to get here and then you get to the UK and you don't even have a job. That's a lot worse and even more heartbreaking. So again, you need to be very careful when you're applying. You know, I'm somebody that I'm huge enthusiast when it comes to UK visa jobs, opportunities in the UK. But I mean, the changes that are coming this year, you need to be wise. So if you want to know all the jobs that are exempted from this particular visa, change and from this particular money leave a comment in the comment section below like i say the healthcare surcharge fee from the sixth i don't know if i've even said the date from the sixth of february 2024 that's the day that it officially starts so sixth of february 2024 the fee is increasing to 1035 pounds per person one person for one year which means that if you have a uk visa for five years you're going to be paying five thousand pounds five thousand pounds in not a visa fees it's just a healthcare fee before you pay your visa fees separately if you're a family of four and one person is paying five thousand pounds it means that a family of four will be paying twenty thousand pounds in fees like that's that's money to get a mortgage <laughs> I remember because when I moved to the UK initially 13 years ago, they didn't have this fee. This healthcare surcharge did not exist. It was only introduced a few years ago. And initially it was really low, you know, 200 pounds, 400 pounds, 600 pounds, now over 1000 pounds for one person for one year. I mean, you know, it is exaggerated. It is ridiculous. It's very annoying. And I wish that you know, there was some sort of advocacy to be able to, because this is not okay. I mean, that's money to, to, to buy a house, to get a mortgage. So again, the only thing you can do as a candidate, all hope is not lost. By the way, do share this video with your friends, loved ones, colleagues. Um, If you're somebody that you're part of my private coaching program, we're going to discuss more about this during our live session on Thursday. We're going to discuss more on which jobs are exempted so that we can focus on applying for those jobs that are exempted because paying £20,000 in visa fees, well, not even visa fees, in healthcare surcharge before paying visa fees, it is not sustainable. You know, if you are back home, for example, how do you, how do you raise £20,000 before the visa fees? I seen that is a lot of money. So our live session on Thursday is going to be focusing on these changes. We're going to talk about the jobs that are exempted from these changes so that we can focus our energy on applying for those jobs that are exempted from this because it is very crucial. It is very important 
also thinking about dependence. There are lots of changes now. And so applying for jobs is not just about, oh, let me just send my CV here. You need to have a lot of background knowledge about what you can and can't do with that job. How much is going to cost you to get a UK visa with that? Because it is not sustainable for many families. I mean, I'm thinking about, you know, it's going to it's it's going to change, you know, some of the people that have been supporting till now to apply for certain opportunities, it's going to change everything again. So, you know, it's very, very disheartening for me. This is terrible news. I was hoping that the government was going to, you know, just crap this particular thing. But I feel that there's not enough advocacy. We don't really have enough people that are advocating for these changes. And, you know, I remember data in 2023 that said that um, when, it, when you look at job search, you know, which countries people want to go to, the UK is the top country where people want to move to from various countries. And the UK government is very much aware of that. And that's why they know that no matter the visa fees, people are still going to pay for them. But I mean, you know, that is ridiculous. You know, it is ridiculous. And I just feel like, you know, it's it's not acceptable. So what do you think about these changes? You know, this video is more like a rant, I feel like, because I'm actually quite annoyed reading that article right now when it popped up on my phone to find that it's increasing by £1,000. I mean, you know, how do people afford this? So the best way is looking at those jobs that are exempted. But the good news is that not all jobs are included, which means that you need to be gravitating towards the jobs that are not because most of us have a family of four people or even five people if you're a family of five you're going to be paying twenty five thousand pounds that's a lot of money twenty five thousand pounds excluding visa fees how do you get that money to move to the uk so again what do you think do share this video with your friends, loved ones, colleagues, so that they're aware of some of these unfortunate changes. And like I always say, there is no need to procrastinate. It's about making hay while the sun shines. It's applying for those jobs while you can, because the laws keep changing all the time. We don't know what the laws are going to change into, but what you can do is make sure that you're doing your best to get the jobs, you know, and that you're understanding what the differences are, and that indeed you know the exemptions and focus on those jobs that are exempted. Have you got any questions? Leave those comments, those questions in the comment section below. If you need to contact me, check the comment section. You're going to find my newsletter to join, which is completely free. You're also going to find my contact details on there. And then we'll see where we get to because, you know, we'll see where we get to. It's just very, very disheartening. So I do appreciate your time. Um, check out this other video that I've linked up here just with more opportunities in the UK and to give you more information about, you know, the opportunities you can apply for. Check this out here.